In this final lesson in our chapter, let's figure out how to work with it. But before we do so, let's add a handful more movies. Again, I will apply some base values. Most of these I'm making up. And we'll add one more, and we'll do comedy this time. And we'll set that one to an hour and 35 minutes. And we will add an excerpt, like so. We're going to skip doing the featured image for the time being. So now if I go to our genres, we can see that we have two movies in the science fiction category and one within the comedy. If I go to studios, we can see that we have two Warner Brothers movies and one Imagine. So if we want to view all movies that are from Warner Brothers, we can view that page. And now this will list every movie. So you can see how amazing it is and how easy it is to categorize this high level information. Now, if you then wish to harness this and use all of the options that we have for each movie, for example, Dumb and Dumber, if you want to specify the category, the studio, the movie length, that can all be done from within your theme. Let's create a quick short code to demonstrate that functionality. I'm going to add a new file, and this will be called Movies Post Type Shortcode. And before I can use this, I need to make sure that I include it. At the bottom of our file, I will include directory name of the current file and then prefix movies post type shortcode. So if this confuses you, remember file is a path to this exact file. But what we want here is to reference the current folder. So we run it through the dir name function and that will slice off the file name and now provide a path to the folder that houses this current file or the movies post type folder. And then we pass in the name of the file that we wish to include. Now, we will create a shortcode. We learned this in chapter two. If you're a bit blurry in that area, definitely go back and watch it. We'll add a shortcode and we'll call this JW Movies. Now, within our callback function, we need to create a new WP query loop because we need some custom posts. I'll create a variable called loop, make that equal to new WP query. And let's pass in our parameters. The first one will be, what is the post type that we're grabbing from? Well, now we've created a new custom post type and we called it JW Movie. So let's reference that. Next, how should we order it? And we'll say, order it by the title. And we're pretty much saying, order that entire list according to the title in alphabetical order. And we'll keep it like that for the time being. Now let's do our simple loop. If loop have posts, then we'll create a new variable called output, and that'll be equal to a housing unordered list. And we'll give this name a class of JW movie list. Next, we run through that loop. So while loop have posts, while there are posts with still within the loop, we call loop the post. And now we need to get the ID of the post. So we will call meta, and that'll be equal to get post meta. Next, we need to get the meta information for the post. So we will create a variable called meta and call get post meta. Remember this requires an ID, but we can't do the ID because that will print it out. We want to store that within a variable. So we'll call get the ID. So with that alone, why don't we print our meta to see what we are working with? But before we do so, let's make sure that we return output. So to trigger this code, I need to create a new post and use the short code JW movies. Add a new post, my movies, and we'll use the short code JW movies. Save it and let's preview it and see what we get back. Now it seems we're getting an error here because it wants the second argument of get post meta to be the name of the key. But in this case, we want to retrieve all meta information associated with the post with this ID. So I'm going to pass an empty string and that'll return everything. Now if I refresh, and I view source, you'll see that we have an array with some built-in information, but we also have JW movie length, and we have that set to 135. Notice that that's available from an array and then another array. We've opened up our UL, so now let's add a list item. Output, and we will add a list item. And within it, we'll have an anchor tag. And this anchor tag should link to the permalink, so we'll use get permalink. Next, we need to display the title of the post. We can use get the title. Now let's make sure we close out PHP so we can do so. Now after this, let's create a div, and this will house the excerpt of the movie. Get the excerpt. That looks good. I'm gonna save it, 
and get rid of our print R because we no longer need it. And if I refresh the page, now we have a list of all of our movies that we've created. Notice that these two have an excerpt associated with them while Back to the Future does not. We can click on them, in which case you could create a new theme template that will display your movie information accordingly. That's a bit beyond the scope of this tutorial, but Google theme post templates, and that'll show you exactly how to get started with that. Now we wanna display the length of the movie as well, so let's do that quickly. And how about we do it right after the title, just for the example, and we'll add a pipe. And then we'll reference the meta variable that has the post information. And it was called JW movie length. And if we come back, you remember that was an array. So we need to get the first item in that, like so. Let's see if we did that one right. Refresh. And now we have the length next to each movie. So obviously this is a very quick example of how you would echo this information out using a short code of all things. But nonetheless, you can see the power of using custom post types along with taxonomies. It easily can turn WordPress from a blog into a full-on CMS. Final thing we'll do in this little case is run a quick if statement. If there are no posts, then we will return output equals no movies added. That way, if we have nothing available, we provide some level of feedback. And that will conclude our chapter.